Hi friends, it's Steph. So, I am here today, you remember the last time we left off at the um, general store, I needed to build a cabinet or a counter, you know, for to put a cash register on. I'm going to put some of those jars on here and everything. So, what I have done now, I will say I've read differing opinions on using, um, is it balsa wood or basswood I think this is balsa wood yeah balsa wood you know it's very soft um, here's a piece that I've cut off of you see it snaps really easily so I'm going to tell you though the best thing about it is it cuts so nicely and so that was why I chose to use it I have some basswood as well and I know y'all remember in my, my one of my last hauls I got that little saw that little handheld saw well, it is garbage, Timu garbage, so don't buy one of those. I cannot figure out how to get the blade in it because when I twist it, like it says twist to open the thing, it does much like a drill does, you know, it'll open up and I cannot get it to um, open up. And I will show y'all, I set it over here so I could try to figure it out, but it has this part on it and you'll see you think this part here is supposed to open up when you twist it but when I twist it and I'm following the instructions that are on the thing it does not move but it just keeps twisting and then the handle comes off so I cannot figure it out um, I was gonna have my husband look at it um, but for right now I don't like it I really wanted to use this blade on my basswood and that's what I was going to build my um, counter out of but I can't get it to work I don't want to try to deal with this little blade it is very sharp um, so if it would work I think it would be great if I could just get it open and maybe user error y'all know how I am but um, I just don't think I recommend this because it shouldn't be that difficult and I've tried everything I've tried turning this part here but on the instructions it clearly shows to um, twist here so I wasn't able to get that to work so I went to the balsa wood because it very easily and I'll show y'all on a piece here um, I just took my ruler drew my lines but I can do this and I can just cut straight through it a couple of passes um, it takes a couple of more passes if you're going against the grain but you see very nice cuts um, once I got everything cut um, when you do go against the grain you know it gets a little rough but I use this little sand sander thing and y'all I love this little thing it works great and remember these they Velcro on and off. It came with um, a bunch of these, like um, 20 of them or 10, something like that, um, for like $3. I love this. I would buy this a million times over. Um, I'm still on the very first one, and it's still very rough. It still will hold up really well. Um, so, And I used it a bunch on that last kit I was doing because I couldn't get those darn shelves to work together. So um, definitely recommend this. I do love that. So I have, I cut these, I measured them. Um, I had my husband do the math, y'all, don't tell anybody. But um, the scale, so I decided to do a five by three um, L-shape counter like this. It'll be like this, okay? And then these I ended up cutting to about one and three quarter inches. Um, I was trying, no, is it one and three quarter? Wait a minute, let me get my ruler. Um, yeah, about one and three quarter. Um, I tried to use them as they were. They were about two and three quarters. They were way too tall. And, you know, even when you're building something, if you're trying for a certain scale, um, even if you're not right at that scale, but all of your items in your um, space look like they're all the same scale, then you're good to go. So even if this wasn't perfectly in 112 scale, if it matches the other items of furniture or shelving that we have in the general store, it will look like that's to scale. Does that make sense? It kind of tricks the eye a little bit. So 
what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use my um, tacky glue. I will say I did get um, museum wax in, and I also, guys, got fill lights, so I'm hoping that my lighting is much better today. Whoops, I'm going to tear stuff up. So let me double check and make sure I have all this correct where I'm going to glue everything. And I do have some pieces of painter's tape. I have the wide painter's tape um, so that once these get together, I can glue, um, tape them together um, while the glue dries. So I'll just put a little glue on here. Now I am trying to decide, I think I might want to stain this counter because I'm just not thrilled with the coloring of this balsa wood. It just looks very eh, kind of cheap, I guess, is a, for lack of a better word. But um, So I'll tape these together, and then that will peel off of there really nicely. Well, darn. Let's see. Let me get it together, guys. All right. There we go. So this will be the base. And I think I'm going to also, because I do want to put those glass jars in some sections, and I'm going to have um, a cash register here. Now, you remember I told y'all I did order a cash register, and I thought it was coming in, but y'all, another Timu order came in of all miniatures. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I had gotten all my orders, but I still had one more. So I guess y'all can be happy. Maybe there's another... Um, Timu haul in our future so there we go guys I wish I could say my husband was as thrilled but you know he's always like yeah I think you got another Timu package on the porch I'm always like oh yeah maybe <laughs> so um I might film that one after I do this and I think I did, like I said I did order a um oh, I don't know what I did with my lid there it is it's, I can see it I did order um a cash register, but I saw a tutorial um, for making one, and I honestly, y'all, I like it better, so I think I'm going to do this reversed this way. I'm going to put this um, nicer end here facing outwards of the counter, so, and then I'm going to trim it out, y'all, with, um, I have some coffee stirs here. I'm going to trim these, and I'm just going to frame it out a little bit, just so it looks a little bit nice. That's why, again, too, I think I'll stain it um, or something, just to make it look a little more finished um, and nicer. Oh, darn, I thought I cut that enough, but I guess I did not. And I don't know if I can get that to stay up. You see why I'm going to have to... Um, put a brace underneath um, so that it's just sturdier. I just want it to be very sturdy. So I'll probably put a brace going this way and this way, but it'll be underneath. Nobody will see it. Um, wipe this glue off a little bit. Um, luckily, y'all see this glue is wonderful. I love this glue. It is quick dry tacky glue, Aileen's, and it stores... Um, with your tip down so it's always ready to go. You don't have to shake it like the old gold bottles. So you see here, let me move it a little bit, try not to break it. I'm gonna trim this down right here so that um, it will be all finished and everything um, and lined up. Um, I had My goal was that this would hang over just a little bit but I didn't do it that way um, because y'all know I like to eyeball stuff and it sometimes it gets me in trouble. But this will be very easy to cut down. I'll just lay it up once the glue is dry. And I will get the braces in. And I think I have decided that I'm definitely going to stain it. Because I do want to add these um, popsicle sticks. So I'm going to let this dry. Um, and I will come back and we will stain it and see how this balsa wood takes the stain because honestly I don't know how it's going to work and so we'll do it together and see how it goes so I'll see you back in just one moment okay guys so here is what I have ended up with as you can see I had to add a bottom because yeah it wasn't quite tall enough but I think let me adjust the camera here so we can look into the 
general store. This thing is so hard for me to move. Okay, so I think now that that's a pretty good scale for in there. And um, I also hung up the mail slots. You see those up on the wall. I just glued that on there with, again, my tacky glue because it does quick dry. So it um, caught on there really well. Um, I also started, I decided to paint the mail slot black and then I'll put um, letters on the front. Um, one little trick though, so like I did paint the first little coat on that. I don't know that I'm going to keep it that color, um, but one thing I did, I have these little containers from Dollar Tree. You get like eight or ten of them in a package for $1.25 and I just mix my paints in here, put the lid on it. And it will stay for as long as I need it to. Um, if I don't want to use it anymore, I leave it open, let it dry, and then I just peel it out, and then I can just reuse the container. Um, so those work really well. Um, I will show you, let me bring it back over here. Let's see. The, um, so the purpose that I wanted to do, I'm going to put the cash register when I get that done right here. But I wanted to be able to put at least two of these little jars on here and then I'm gonna hang some shelves um, I had some extra balsa wood so I'm gonna cut this to size and hang a couple of shelves on the wall um, because the jars will fit just right on that so I'm gonna hang a couple of shelves and just hang some jars on the wall as well um, I think I did tell you that I did get some um, museum wax I have not tried it out yet um, but I'm going to so now what we're going to be doing is I need to make, um, excuse the dog, sorry, the cash register. I did order one, so when that one comes in, I'm going to try it. But I have found a neat way, like I said, um, Queen City Minis did a very neat cash register out of just um, cardstock and um, straight pins. So I think I'm going to try that because it looked to me... I think it looked more realistic than the one I bought, actually. So we'll see, though, when it comes in. Um, that order has not come in from Timu yet. And like I said, I did get another order, so I am going to do one more Timu haul and be done with that for a while. Um, I did order from Factory Direct. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. They're a website, um, and they have some pretty good prices. I went through their clearance, um, and they had some very unique items that I liked. So when those come in, I'll show you those. Um, the prices though, everything was like under $5. So the prices weren't bad at all. Um, so we finished with the, um, counter that will be going in there. All those straight, not at an angle. And then we'll get everything else, um, set up. We'll get the things hung up on the wall. And I foresee us being finished with the general store in another probably week once I get everything finished um, and then we will look and see what we've got and how it turned out um, so fingers crossed that everything keeps going as well as it is because then guys we're going to start on Lucy's apartment so thanks so much for joining me today um, please make sure to like and subscribe and come back for the next video which I guess will be another the very last or at least last for right now, Timu Hall. Thanks, guys.